What's going on, Doozers, and welcome to episode 7 on the Shadowtopia Season 2 server. I'm Diamond Doozer, and we're going to have some fun. But today, very first thing we're doing... Dude, we're doing some shopping. Because this magic right here, this magical shop has finally opened. And look at this. Repeaters, comparators, observers, oh, dispensers droppers pistons guys i am in heaven and we're about to go broke let me go get my chest with diamonds in it real quick and uh see i'm gonna need that box and i'm just gonna grab this one too and this one because i'm probably gonna need them both i don't know whose shop this is but somebody's about to become very wealthy we'll be right back as soon as i complete my purchases <laughs> All right, so we are stocked, stacked, and ready to do redstone, guys. Look at this. Look at this magical box. Look at it all. Oh, it's so beautiful. Um, Now, unfortunately for the rest of the server, I mean, quite frankly, I uh, <clears throat> I bought them out. There, there's, yeah, there's nothing left. I, I bought it all. Except redstone torches. I didn't buy redstone torches only because... With, with my raid farm, I have a near infinite supply of um, sticks, and I get the same amount of redstone as I do sticks from it, so, I mean, there isn't too much sense in doing it, um, so I'll make my own redstone torches, but, oh, oh, it's so nice to have redstone back. So, let's catch up on what we're going to be doing today. Today is going to be a little bit of grindiness. Um, I'm not expecting it to, again, kind of like last episode, I'm not expecting it to be finished in one episode. We are going to be doing a little bit more work in the main base. And now that I have redstone, um, I can start working on actually getting some other stuff together. Now, let me see here. I do believe that there is at least one person selling slime on this server. I know Spirit General says they have it. So let's see, slime blocks. Yeah, he's got slime. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So it's going to cost me 20 diamonds for slime. Um, but I don't think anybody else is selling it. So, I mean, what the heck, right? What the heck? So let's see, let's get 20 diamonds out. And we're just going to grab all of that. And there, paid for. So, again, like I was saying, um, we do have some stuff to do. We are going to be working a lot on the base today, but we are also going to be working on some, um, some other farms. Um, I am doing a squid farm. Uh, Huffle Duck was working on building one earlier uh, last week, and he was having a lot of issues with it. So I'm going to try a squid farm. Uh, I believe it was either Ilmango or Nembom who did it. And it uses uh, uh, nether portals to work. Now, thankfully, I have a stack and a half of sponges because we're going to need to clear out a lot of water to do this farm. But um, once we get everything set up, we should be pretty, pretty clear sailing as far as making it. So uh, we're going to start with that first because I need ink really bad and after that we'll probably do a time lapse working on the base a little bit more i did get the roof put on or at least as far as the dome so we have a glass roof now and i did a little bit more work on the sides off camera so we'll bring you into that as well so sit back hang tight and relax because we're about to have a good one well we are over here at my villager area and i think i found the perfect area to start this squid farm so this area here that's surrounded by dirt is all river biome and that is where squid will spawn naturally so the first thing that we got to do is we got to eliminate all the water within 138 block or 128 blocks of this location so let's take a quick flight up and see just how much water we have to get rid of All right, yeah, so there's there's some 
there's a lot of water we're going to have to get rid of. <laughs> a lot of water. But that's okay. So this is going to be the location of our squid farm. Now, the way it's going to work is we're going to have a couple of nether portals in here, as big as I can make them. And they're going to go uh, two apart from each other the whole way across. And then they're going to link up in the nether to a single nether portal with a couple of boats with cats in them. And that's going to make the squid drop out of the portal and suffocate, dropping their drops into hoppers. So we got a little bit of work. Okay, that, that's a lie. Guys, we got a lot of work, and I think this is best done as a time lapse. So cue it. Well, that was tedious. <laughs> Talk about grindy. So we got all of this area squared away as far as the rivers go. Now that that is all completely empty, um, we should be able to start working on this project and actually get the, the frames built out. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to need to take out any of this or not. I don't think I'm going to need to. I think I should be out of that 138 chunk area, or 138 blocks. Um, but, I mean, if I need to, I will. So, for right now, we are working on recovering all of our sponges. And I need to start hollowing this out and getting it ready for, Ida, for the uh, nether portals. So, the portals are going to be 20 by 20. Um, I'm not making the biggest portals I can. Uh, but 20 by 20 gives me a 19 by 19, or 21 by 21, sorry, 20 by 20 interior dimension. And that should be plenty of room for this. And looking at it, I think we're going to put it like one, two, three, oops, four. I think we can get five of them in here. Um, so I'm going to get to work on that.
Walker. Hello. You need four cats? Uh, well, three now. I have one. So I'm I'm over at your 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 plethora of cats over here right now, and okay. I was I was trying to feed them, to breed them, but mm -hmm. they're all sitting down and they won't do the, they won't make the bebis. See, I, I was trying to get Coco and unnamed, but they won't make the bebis. Now they make the babies. Now I need more store. How many pieces of food do I have to give the cat before it likes me? It's it's my kitty. Right. <laughs> He's your kitty. He grew it up. Not not try it. There you go. Now it should be yours, maybe. No. Breed it with another one. Here, breed it with. Be my kitty. Be my kitty. Wow. According to my statistics of mine, 5,000 blocks of obsidian. Wow, 5,000 blocks of obsidian, that's a lot. Where did kitty come to you? It's mine. What what do I gotta do to get it to be my kitty? <laughs> do they do they automatically no, it's a, it's a, tame to you it, or? It's a chance I think that you can get it. I've done it before. Here, try to breed that one. Okay, I will give kitties the food. That one. Now find each other, kiddos. Make make babies. Wait, this one. Nope, not my kitty. Pretty sure your kitty. <clears throat> Well, I mean, they don't necessarily have to be my kitties for this. I just need three more kitties okay. that are tame. Um, well, that's that's that one. Um, where's the and other and one? this guy with the green green thing. And this one. Okay, stay here. I'm gonna go to your base. Well, actually, where and... I need them is. Well, where, where do you need them? I need them by the portal in the Nether. I don't need them need actually them th in the nether. Yeah, I need them in the nether. Um, we're we're gonna have to get them through the nether then. Yes. Okay. Well, guys, that was an amazing live stream, and I'm just getting back from it. Uh, we did do a little bit of extra work off camera because this took way too long. It. If you were watching Saturday, I applaud you. It was a 7 hour and 31 minute live stream. It was ridiculous. But the end result was well worth it. We cleared out all of this. And we, we had a couple of moments. Um, <laughs> but we were successfully able to make a blaze farm. Now... Uh, again, if you were watching on the live stream, you would have seen that we went through about seven or eight different iterations of this. 
Um, we just kept having issues with the mechanics. I don't know if it was me. I, I don't know what it was. Um, originally, I tried to do a NEM bomb design where the uh, there was just a magma block and then a big block of blocks over here, and they were supposed to funnel to the corner. And what was happening was, instead, we were getting these just platforms filled with blazes, and they weren't going to where they were supposed to. So, we ended up swapping out everything. We went to some redstone, and we made pushers. So now what happens is the blaze will go down, and we should actually see it soon. There we go. They hit those pressure plates, and they get thrown into a kill chamber. Now, it's by no means pretty. Um, if I had known off the top of my head that this is how I was going to build it, I promise I would have built it a lot differently. This is um, out of necessity. But, as far as blaze rods... I mean, it works. So, um, I am now going to be able to start working on my next project, which is getting an actual smelting array. So, as many of you know, in the next, uh, the next update, we are losing the ability to zero-tick bamboo. Uh, so, my super smelter isn't going to work anymore because I can't zero-tick the bamboo to fill it. So... What we're going to do is we are going to make a super smelter, because I need one. Um, and then we are going to power that super smelter. Um, we're going to power that super smelter with kelp. So, my next project is to get over to... I think I'm going to build this uh, over in my industrial district. It seems like the best place for it for right now. But we're going to go ahead and build a smelter that only smelts kelp. Um, that's its only job, is to make kelp so that I can turn that into kelp blocks. So I will bring you back as soon as we start getting, uh, getting the materials together for that. So I was almost at my base when I got a message from White Top saying, Hey, I built a blaze shop and it's open. Now, so here's the deal. Again, it's another one of the paired up uh, shops. And the reason is, is the Blaze farm that I made, um, I did it for White Top. It, it, it was over by White Top's base. She had claimed that Blaze spawner. And I came over and built the Blaze farm for her. And then she opened up a shop and said, we're going to split the profits. So let's go take a quick peek over at this Blaze shop. She said it's visible from the tree. So let's see if I can spot it real quick. Is it that? Um, or is it that? I think it's that. Let's go take a look. And then we'll clear out our shops, too. Yeah, there it is. Oh, that is looking awesome. All right. All right. Blazes, blazing, blaze rob chop. Good lord, say that five times. And, <laughs> well, um, all right. <laughs> it looks like it's a pretty popular place. That is, uh, that is good news. All right, so I guess while we're here, let's take a quick peek over at the bookstore. Let's see how we're doing here. Oh, there's one. Two. Three. Looks like I'm going to have to make some more mending books. And up to the second floor. No, no, no. There we go. All right, not too bad, 15 diamonds. I mean, I'll take it. Well, we are over in the industrial district and we are getting ready to start this project. So I've already laid out the smokers. Now, 
This is a little bit different. Um, I am using an El Mango design here for the furnace itself, just because it's a perfect furnace. Uh, it's 23 uh, furnaces long. Now I am swapping out, instead of using the furnaces, I'm using the smokers because this is only going to be doing one type of item. This is only going to be doing help. That's right, I'm building a furnace. I'm building a, I'm building a super smelter to get fuel. Yeah. So, um, we will be building another super smelter, but that's going to be pretty much the same design. I'm probably going to do a couple of these using the different furnace blocks. So the super smelter, blast furnace, etc. Um, now, the only thing I'm con uh, curious about... Sorry, I got a little case of the hiccups right there. That was weird. The only thing I'm a little bit worried about is this revolves around game delay. Uh, it, it involves tick. And... The, um, these furnaces, the smelters, or the smokers rather, are going to cook the kelp a lot quicker than a regular furnace would. It's more, of a, uh, more efficient to use it. That being said, it takes about 130 game ticks for this to restock, refuel. So I'm a little bit worried that we may actually um, cook it too quickly. But we're going to go ahead and build it because honestly, if we have to swap out these, it's not that big of a deal. It's not hard. So I'm just going to start. Uh, I'm just going to start putting things in here. Uh, we're going to get this built out. It's not going to take too awfully long. It's a relatively simple design. Um, well, I say that considering it's already been made and I can just follow a tutorial. But um, the new one that we're building um, for outside for everything else. Um, I'm actually going to work on my own design for that one. I have an idea, and I want it to be a big one. So two stacks of, 60, of 64, it's 128 blocks. And I think what I want to do is I want to create a furnace array that can do that entire 128 blocks. So that means I'll be able to sm uh, smelt up two stacks in 10 seconds. And that's going to make it a lot easier when I'm doing something like a shulker box uh, with 27 stacks in it. So... Let me get onto this, and we'll bring you back as soon as we're done. This can come. All right, so the in. smelter is done. So that part is finished. We have everything Somewhere. set up, and we have already filled it up with blaze okay. rods. I saw, so I saw, it I saw, is I ready to rock and roll. Now the next part we have to do is over here. Now I've already cleaned out an area, and we're going to be putting in an automatic kelp farm over here that's going to feed no. into this. No right here so what will happen is the kelp will go in it'll get evenly divided the furnaces will start the kelp will smelt it'll come down here and then I'll be able to start turning that into blocks which will then turn power the furnace and let's let, let's just build it <laughs> all right so the smelter is done so that part is finished. We have everything Somewhere. set up. And we have already filled it up with blaze okay. rods. I saw, so I saw, it I is ready it. to rock and roll. Now the next part we have to do is over here. Now I've already cleaned out an area. And we're going to be putting in an automatic kelp farm over here that's going to feed no. into this no, right here. So what will happen is the kelp will go in. It'll get evenly divided. The furnaces will start. The kelp will smelt. It'll come down here. And then I'll be able to start turning that into blocks, which will then turn power the furnace. And let's let, let's just build it. <laughs> Quick update, guys. We've been working on this for a little bit now. And yeah, uh, signs. Lots and lots of signs. This is the start of the kelp farm that we're going to be funneling into our smelter. Now, as you can see, um, and you can tell by the signs, you can see exactly what direction I was going when I was placing them. Uh, because, you know, D, 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 A, 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 A. Yeah, I, I, I really do use WASD. So, uh, we got all the signs in. Now, the next step is, thankfully, really easy. All we got to do is run through here with some ice. Just like this. Uh, try not to fall off the edge of the ice. And we're going to run this straight down the edge here. Now what this is going to do is this is going to push everything over the side. So let's see. 
One, two, three, bang, there it is, okay. There we go. And we should see that it ends right like that. So this is going to be the actual kelp tank. This is how the kelp's going to get out. Now, I do have a lot more to do. Let me get the other side done. And we're going to get some redstone going on the other side. As well as the collection tube that's going to go into the smelter. So, we'll be back shortly. So, with a flip of this lever, we are going to let this flying machine start going down. And that's just going to eat all that kelp down that row. Now, we're going to shoot down here real fast. Uh, yep, I'm going to hit a wall too. That's what I'm going to do. So we're going to shoot down here real fast, and we're going to wait patiently for it. Or impatiently, as it may be. Now, what should happen is when this comes back, it should trigger this redstone line down to here, which should trigger this flying machine. So let's just make sure this is working. And there it goes. All right, so now we are harvesting both sides, and that's all hooked up to that. Uh, that's all hooked up to daylight sensors, so it's going to go eh, a couple times a day, maybe. And then all of that kelp just shoots straight up, goes down, and goes right into this furnace. And as you can see, we are definitely getting smoked or burnt kelp or whatever you want to call it. So. That being said, now that we are up to almost three stacks of kelp, uh, kelp blocks, I definitely think we have a working, uh, working furnace. So I'm just going to chill out here for a little bit, let it do its job, and uh, we'll bring it back in a little. So we are back over at the main base, and it is time to get back to the grinds. Now, we got to do a couple more pillars. Um, and again, I'm still working on figuring out how to do a roof for this, but we're going to get these little minarets up first. And once we have the minarets up, then we're going to start working on some decoration around this dome. And then the rest of the roof is going to take place around that. Like I said before, I'm, I'm really doing this off the cuff. I have no idea how to do this. So we'll, we'll see what happens. So sit back and relax. We're going to queue up some of the uh, Declan music and uh, we'll bring you back in a few. from the base building I, I i'm gonna need a whole bunch of quartz and i'm also gonna need a whole bunch of dark ter uh, dark prismarine so thankfully i have tons of the ink now i just have to afk the uh the the monument and get the prismarine so in the meantime though doodle got back on the server and she asked me to make her a sword so here it is, Doodler, Doodle's Pokey Stick, Sharpness 5, Unbreaking 3, Knockback 2, Fire Aspect 2, Mending, Looting 3, Sweeping Edge 3. Uh, trust me, you can't get any more enchantments on it, I tried. So we're going to take this over now. She asked about price, and I have an idea. We'll bring you right back. Hey, Doodle! <laughs> so I got your sword. Okay. Um, it's a good sword. There you go. What's what's the catch? <laughs> so I called it Doodle's Pokey Stick for a reason. I have a mission for you. The sword is free, but I need a couple player heads. <laughs> 
to be. Okay, who do you need? <laughs> uh, just three of them that aren't yours. Who? Three, three what? that, three that aren't yours. Three that aren't mine. Yep, that's it. How how soon do you need them by? Uh, whenever. Come back. <laughs> but they got to be killed with the pokey stick. Dang it! You never nice, said that. Nice before. try. <laughs> Dang it! Well, how will you know? Because it doesn't say kill by. Oh, I have to take screenshots, don't I? <laughs> <laughs> Dang it! Oh, fine. I will be evil. It's happening. And now, and guys, please. we get to see the true doodle come out. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's a PvP master. Oh, no, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good at hiding. Who's on the server? <laughs> All right, guys. So this is going to wrap up my episode for this week. Um, I know it's a little bit shorter than I normally do, but I have a reason for it. A really good reason. You see... I got a new microphone and it came in yesterday and the rest of it is coming in probably in the next 20 minutes. And I, I don't want to, I don't want the audio to go from okay to good or, or bad, depending on how I set this up in one episode. I, I'd rather start fresh with the new audio. So guys, I want to thank you for hanging out with me. We'll see you soon. This is Diamond Doozer and I'm out.